Esther 2, 18. Then the king made a great feast for all the princesses, the princes, and his servants. Even Esther feast, and he made a holiday for the provinces and gave gifts according to the liberty of the king. You know, this is just a small comparison of what the feast, the wedding banquet of the Lord is going to be. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a reason to give rejoice and praise. And those that ain't a part of it really going to miss out because they don't got him. They're missing out. Okay. Daniel the four eighteen and nineteen. Daniel four eighteen and nineteen. Then Daniel named named Belshazzar was stunned for a while and looked very much upset. Wait. <coughs> <coughs> this is dream I had. I Nebuchadnezzar, you Belshazzar, explain it to me. Since not one of the wise men of my kingdom has been able to interpret it for me, but you can, for the spirit of the holy God dwells in you. Now, uh, Nebuchadnezzar didn't recognize God as the only God. He worshipped his, he just knew something distinct about God, Daniel followed, the true God, the living God. But he didn't believe that. But he did believe by the powers he could interpret the dream. You know, he he got what he wanted from God. And that was it. He didn't submit to him. He knew that of all his wise men, they can interpret the dream. But he went to God, man of God. But he didn't turn it, God. You know, he went through all his worldly possibilities before he came to God. God should be the first one we go to. Verse 19. <coughs> then Daniel ne renamed Belshazzar, was stunned for a while. He looked very much upset. The king said, Belshazzar, what is in that dream or its interpretation that upsets you so? Belshazzar answered, My lord, the dream, my lord may this dream be meant for your enemies in contact, refer to your foes. He's like, well, if this dream referred to your foes, I wouldn't have a problem telling you it. But it don't. No trouble telling the king what the dream meant. Nobody wants to be the bearer of bad news. Nobody wants to tell people, hey, you're going to, this is going to happen to you. But sometimes we got to share you bad news. So we have a chance to turn to God.